everyone, it is me back again today. Uh, we're not going to be blowing part of the whiskey adventure today. It's going to be a little bit of sit, chat, and talk. We will be drinking whiskey, though. Always, I'm trying to drink some whiskey in every one of my videos if I can, because I like whiskey, and it gives me something to do with my hands, because I don't know what to do with them whenever I'm not doing a video. I just don't know what to do with them. So, we're going to be drinking on some Jim Beam Black <clears throat> while we go over the whiskey party, guys. We had just finished all of them the day before yesterday, and we're going to go over them, and I'm going to let you guys know which one's my favorite drinks, all the way down to my least favorite drink. Um, if I can remember which ones from which to which, but <clears throat> it shouldn't be too hard, mostly because I already know which ones my favorite were, because I've had them before, or I may have had, within this one, it changed my mind because it was better. But uh, we're going to pour up a little glass here with some of this, and we're going to talk about it. Cause that's what we do here. We talk about it. Oh, we have a rest in peace bottle today, guys. Tip your hat to another well finished bottle of whiskey. I've done a view on this, review on this, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, <clears throat> it's been a good minute, but it's Jim Beam Black Extra Aged Bourbon. It's 86 proof, 43% alcohol. Uh, so it's really great, really good. If you want to watch me review it, I have made the video already and posted it up on my channel if you want to go watch it. You don't have to, you know what I mean. It's, a, it's a good channel. You should, though. Really should. And pause now and then go watch it and then come back and then you'll know you'll know you know we'll all have the same no all right so <clears throat> when you first get the box it's exciting because you got yay something else to open and drink on let me move my bubble i can't see anything okay so when you first get it they're all gonna be full <laughs> but um if you look on the back side of the box let me let me take this thing off over here That there and this there. Alright. So once you, you get the back of the box like this, guys, it starts from here and then it goes this way. At least on the front side it does. This is just back kind of backwards. So it starts here with the old fashioned, then the Manhattan, the whiskey sour, uh the John Collins, the mint julep, the Ricky the orange julep, and the cider spritz. That's the order they go in. And then, which is really cool, what I liked about the box, is that on the front side, it matches what is actually behind it. So if I'm looking at the old-fashioned, and then I flip the box over, the old-fashioned is right here. So it's pretty cool. It matches up with whatever it is. So you ain't got to find it or roll over or anything like that. I tried to put them back in the exact same order of where I took them out. <clears throat> So, they are pretty much, I'm pretty much sure they are all in there. Each one of these it has 18.4 ounces of liquid in each one of them. So, that helps you make the mixed drinks of how many parts you want to put into it. Um, so, we're going to start off with which my favorite was. My favorite, I would have to say, is the whiskey sour. Because I kind of like the sour stuff. If I remember correctly. I may be wrong. I don't know. But, so I'm going to start with the whiskey sour. I'm going to go for my greatest... Or my best to my least favorite. And the top three are obviously going to be what you guys already know. It's going to be the Whiskey Sour is number one. Then I would have to say the Old Fashioned. And then the Manhattan. Which is the top three that you start out with. But I didn't start out with the top three right away. I done them in different orders. I let um, my mama choose. I let my girlfriend choose. I let a friend choose. That way it was different every single day. That way I didn't kind of choose my own thing. So after i done those three, I would have to say the Ricky was good, I believe, if I'm not sure, mistaken. It's very lime. Uh, then the John Collins was really good. The Orange Julep was pretty decent. Then the Cider Spritz. Then the Mint Julep was the worst. Um, sorry, Cody, but it was the worst. It was the worst out of this entire box, guys. Uh, <clears throat> remember, if you have any questions on any of the boxes or any of the views, 
I made a video on every single one of those. You can go back and check it. But actually, guys, even the mint julep was terrible. But from what my friend Cody tells me, you could go and if it's made right, it tastes totally different. These are not up to par with what an actual drink is going to taste like inside of a bar. The people in the bar make these for a living. This is artificial flavoring. So you're not going to get the same taste, but it was a good ballpark of what was good and what was bad and and opened up a new door into different types of whiskey drinks of which I have never been in, which was very good for me to jump into something like that. Um, other than that, I got do, I do have great news for you guys. Uh, here in North Carolina, the weather has been cracked for the last little while. It's been raining and cold. Tomorrow still be cold. But... It's not going to be raining anymore, and it's going to be dried up a little bit. I'm going to wash the car. I'm going to wash the blue car and get it all cleaned up. And tomorrow, we will be doing a walk around of my blue car. I hope you guys are ready to enjoy that, because I am. I know I've had several people still ask me why I haven't done a video on it yet. It's because I'm lazy and I haven't washed it. I live down a long dirt road that's full of mud and everything else, and it's hard for me to try to keep it 100% clean. And I don't want to show you guys a dirty car. I hate it being dirty anyway. But that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, and then you can criticize me about how much of a Ford guy and Mustang person I am and how slow they are. And you can tell me how much I should LS swap it and turbo it and supercharge it. But if that's what you want to tell me, you can tell me that. But that's what most of the stuff that I get told. Um, it's a very different color. It's not stock color or anything like that. It's different. It's not on stock wheels. There's not a lot. There's a, still a lot of internals and stuff that are stock, but most bolt-ons are different at this point, I believe. A good bit of them are. Uh, there's a lot of still suspension stuff that I would need to change. But still, it is my baby and my favorite car next to my 66, which will become my favorite car once I build the car. Um, other than that, guys, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And then Wednesday... I actually open Wednesday at work and Thursday, so I'll be able to do a lot earlier videos for you guys if I'm able to do it. Um, I'm going to be going to the ABC store on Wednesday after work. Be sure to message me, guys, what you want me to try. I'm, I think I'm getting a uh, regular bottle of Jameson. I'm going to get a bottle of Larceny, and I believe my friend Cody's going to be getting a bottle. So let me know below or comment on my Facebook or something. Let me know somewhere if you want me to try anything at all i do not mind what it is it could be cheap as long as it ain't too expensive i'll try and get it and we'll see what we can do about trying it on the camera but it's not i'm trying to over not overwhelm you guys with a lot of whiskey videos even though this is kind of a whiskey channel but for a lot of you know whiskey gets expensive and if I actually do a whiskey video every single day this year, that's 365 whiskeys. That's a lot of whiskey, and that's a lot of money. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't mind spending the money for you guys. I don't, I don't mind at all. But also, I'm hopefully going to be buying a house this year and everything else. So all my stuff's going to change. But I'm still going to try to be doing videos for you guys every single day. Which, during the moving process, it might be a little harder. But I will probably still do a video every single day except for like i said important days very important holidays where i'm just too busy or something like that i may do a video ahead and then post it but i really want to try to do one every single day I also i looked at my stats you guys are freaking amazing i'm at over 1000 views on my channel in just a month you guys are freaking fantastic that's phenomenal, and you it's all to you guys, everything you do. Um, I'm at 26 subscribers and over 1,000 views. That is insane, and that is all giving props to you guys, and I'm so glad you enjoy my channel. And if there's anything that you think I could change or fix or manipulate, let me know that what I can make it better. I'm going to be buying bulbs this week, too, that change it from being so orange. Hopefully, it'll be a little more bluish, something like that, a little white, if I can help. Um... But, let's go ahead and say a rest in peace to good old Jim Beam Black with the last shot of the bottle. Let's bow our heads and finish this shot. Well, well drank bottle, for sure. Thanks, Cody, for that bottle. That is an amazing whiskey. 
that I don't know if there's <laughs> there's not many more that's gonna be better than that one because it's so smooth and such a great drink with such a great proof. But guys, remember, my name is Justin, and I buy it so you don't have to. I try it so you don't have to. Like, subscribe, and comment below any drinks you want to try. Hit that notification bell so you can see my sexy face every single day. It lets you know when I go live. It lets you know when I post a video. It sings you a little ding that lets you know I posted something. Right away, no hesitations. No waiting for me to post on social media, guys. It sends it right away. So hit those buttons, guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow with my Mustang.